All right, good morning. Welcome to Monday, May 2nd. Of course, we want to wish a happy birthday to Judd and to Avery this morning. Hope you all have a great day. Good to see you. All right, and uh, so promised I did the math of what's left. We have to do 3.37 chapters a day in order to finish on time. So somehow we still didn't catch up to the 3.25 we started out with. Thought for sure we would have done that. So at least with the Psalms for a while, you know, we'll try to make maybe four chapters the norm until we get that number back down closer to three. You can handle it, right? Today's reading will be 1 Chronicles chapters 10 through 12 and Psalm 58. All the stuff that we're reading right now basically happens about 1025 BC. And you'll see the difference between 1 Chronicles and 2 Samuel. 1 Chronicles largely ignores the fact that somebody else reigned over the ten tribes after Saul doesn't even cover it. So as you see there, First Chronicles chapter 10 covers, sums up the battle that ends Saul's reign and results in his death. Now while you're reading this, what the other books cover that this one doesn't, that's all happening at the same time. This is the time Mephibosheth gets hurt, becomes lame. And so obviously David laments the deaths of his friends and Saul and now he reigns the next seven years over Judah but not the other ten tribes. Ish Bosheth is made king over the ten tribes but again not talked about here. And then eventually the civil war ends. Solomon will be born about this time. Joab murders Abner and David is made king over all of Israel. Now that leads us to first Chronicles chapter 11 and 12. These two chapters talk about David's reign and sum up the acts of some of his mighty men. And then we go right into Psalm 58, a prayer against David's enemy. And also you can see here we can chronicle my nose. All right, pretty easy reading today. And I uh, hope you have a great Monday. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great day.